Hi. Hello. Well, hi. Hi. Well, first of all, how are you? Good. That's good. And you? I'm good too. Yeah. And you, my friend? Yeah, pretty good, yeah. Yes. Well, Actually, kind of bad. Why is that? Well, what's wrong? Oh, we can get into it later. Are you sure? Yeah. No, oh, well, it's... we'll get into it later. It's all right. He's just going to bitch about his glasses again. Oh, oh, come on, man. Always yeah. bitching about the glasses. Well, always his glasses. This is the Misfits podcast, and it's rated five stars on YouTube by Juan Oliveira. He says, fucking hate everyone in this show and can't stand y'all. Love Juan. So Ooh, at, least, at least he send, sends his love. Yeah, and he rated us nice. five stars. So, yeah. you know, whether he likes yeah. us or not, he rates us very highly. Yeah, I enjoy the show, but hate all of you. Yeah, well, yeah. well <laughs> thank you, Toby. This is Toby. Oh, I'm here. I'm, I, yeah, I'm Toby. He's present. Matt's here, present as well. Yeah, pre present. And Swagger's here, and he's got a present yeah. for you, the audience, right oh. now. Oh, sorry. I realized oh. I didn't say present. Yeah, sorry. sorry. Present. Oh, well, you're present. Yeah, okay. I'm here. Well, Swagger? Yeah. Yep. What'd you have to say? Oh, <laughs> the, the, my day is going off. Uh. My day, I'm having a fucking awful day. Yeah, well, yeah. tell me about that. Oh, yeah. Are, are you present? I, I am present. Oh, thank I you. am present. Fitz, are you present? I'm just, present. Just had to mark it down. I'm here. Yep. Okay. No, we're, we're, we're all here. We're, we're I'm present dead. in case you missed me. In the no, yeah, I got no, you. We got you. definitely got you. Shut okay. the fuck up. Okay, we can carry on <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah. um, no, you cannot go to the bathroom. Me, Fitz, Ryan, um, and a couple others went out drinking spontaneously last night. Um, I got back <laughs> to Ryan's house really late. Everybody leaves. Um, I took a dab and I was off my face, fucking like like d disabled, and I could not get an Uber home. It was like four thirty. Um, I just decided, fuck it. I'm gonna. I'll I'll just sleep over. I'll sleep on the couch. No big deal. I yeah. sleep. It's I not wake a big up. Deal at all. It isn't. Yeah, it's, it's I wake a up. Small deal. Yeah. I wake up. Eleven a.m. Where are my glasses? I can't see. Let me, let me try to find them. Do you normally them. sleep with your glasses on? Or? Uh, no, off. Of oh, course, okay, off. that makes sense. So but, normally you wake up and think, I can't see. Yeah. Yeah, but this, this, this day was different. Well, this day was different because yeah. I went to reach for my glasses and I couldn't find them. And I was like, oh, whatever. I, I, I'll, I'll find them whenever. And then I went back to sleep. And then I wake mm. up to Manuel, um, Ryan's personal assistant, uh, yelling at one of their French bulldogs. Which one was it? Uh, Pepsi. Ah, it was a little Pepsi. Oh, the middle child. Yeah, the middle child. The mm. uh, fucking dysfunctional, snaggletooth piece of shit. Okay. He yeah. fucking chewed. That's a bit rude. He chewed up my glass. He destroyed my fucking glasses. Mm. He popped out both the lenses. There were oh. teeth marks in both the lenses. The fucking things that hang over your ears were completely chewed off, so it was wire. Mm. I, I tried to put them on to see if it would work, and it just sliced my my face. That's not Ow. good. Yeah, it was it was fucking awful. I heard and Pepsi uh, was calling you a nerd while he was chewing them up as well. I was so mad. I was so fucking upset. <laughs> then we just decided, like Manuel was like, "Fuck it, we'll take you to an optometrist, uh, and we'll get you fitted." So we went to like Specsavers or something. Mm. And I remember going there and being like, well, I have the lenses, so they can just, you know, test the lenses yeah, and then get my fucked. prescription. Maybe then they would send you lenses that had bite marks in them. <laughs> yeah, just, thinking just it was your prescription. Your case them. Yeah. Um, yeah, those are my backups. Yeah, these are great specs. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Can't see shit. What other specs? <laughs> Uh, well, the glass, you can see through them. Yeah. Kind of got lenses on them. I don't know. Okay. Uh, shut the Why are you making up? such a big spectacle out of it? Come on. <laughs> oh, good nice, nice. Good one. Good, one. good yeah. one. So you got some new glasses now. No, no, uh, no. I, I had to go to the optometrist. And the one thing that I hate the most about getting glasses is having to get the whole fucking eye exam. Mm, yeah. I having to go through 20 minutes of just bullshit. Like, is it one or two? It's one. Is it yeah. one or two? It's like, I, there's no difference. It's like, is it one or two? Wow. And you know the, that whole thing. But and then you second guess and you're like, well, what if what if yeah, two was better? Two and, I thought, better and I thought, I thought yeah, one was yeah. better in the moment. But <laughs> the, the thing is, like, I asked them, can you just get my prescription from these lenses, and then from there, I can just pick out frames and we're good. And they're like, well, we could, but we're not going to. And I was like, why? And they said, well, we need to get you on file. We need to make sure your eyes are healthy and all that. It's like insurance or whatever. And I was yeah. like, yeah, okay. But I just, dude, there's this one, there's this one fucking part of the eye exam that, that fucks with me every time. There's actually two parts. The first one is when you have to look into a little machine and then you have to focus on a, on a green dot. Oh, and then yeah. it blows fucking air so into weird. your eyeball and it sucks oh. and I hate it. It doesn't hurt, terrible. but I'm a pussy mm. and, it, and, I, and, it, and it shocks me every time. 
And then the other one was when they, they put your fucking chin on a rest, and then they had these crazy lights that they put around your, your eye, and then they put lenses in front of your eyes so they could look inside your eyeball yeah. mm. to look at the optic nerve and shit. And they were doing that. It was pitch black, but the lights are going into my eye, and they're telling me to look around. And I'm seeing all of the blood vessels and all the veins Ooh. in my eye around my vision. It was like I was shot in fucking Call of Duty, and the veins <laughs> are going around my, my yeah. vision. It looked like I was fucking bleeding. My <laughs> least favorite part of the optometrist is when they put your chin on a chin rest and then they put their dick in your mouth. Oh, mm, God. The worst bit. Have you considered biting down? Well, they, they ask you not to. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah, well, I'm not going to. I need my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do whatever they say. <laughs> <laughs> no, He's yeah. just doing his job fits. You ever Jeez. got into a steering contest with an optometrist? Oh, it's so uncomfortable. They're all, yeah. They're, they're just like, all right, here's your eye exam. They just stare at you <laughs> and you're like what you're like, i won all right let's try again all right your, your eyes seem good <laughs> that's literally how they test you how long can you go without blinking you guys good at that really uh, good at that i'm terrible at that man like really? my eyes get moist immediately yeah. and i start crying no you mean the opposite of moist they get the, dry the, no they get moist because i'm crying you know, oh, you know i'm compensating with moisture okay, okay. It's you, not know, I'm, you know i got upset. a secret trick when it comes to uh, staring contest what's that you know how it's like what usually makes you lose the staring contest is that your eyes get really dried out mm -hmm. if you just you know you, your eyes start to sting you just kind of squint <clears throat> and then you move your eyes like in a in a clockwise or counterclockwise like rotation, and it'll like go into your eyelid and then coat your eyes. I'm just with the, so, and uh, it food. doesn't count as because the certain contest blinking. you have to stare at them. Yeah. So if I do this, then I'm fucking breaking the stare. Surely. That's a great point. That's uh, like a cheat code. Uh, You're trying to like get the other person it's to just laugh. Like keep like, you, or you know, so you keep your eyes open. Is, is the whole idea. <laughs> Staring ends when it when you blink. So if you just fucking like roll your eyes in the back of your head, you like just stare at them like that. I wish that we resolved all human conflict with the staring contest. Staring contest. Yeah. Just a bunch of soldiers get together on a field. <laughs> that's kind of what. That's, <laughs> stared real hard. Right, at each so other. Like, that's kind of what Moldies do at the start of the fight. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, when, uh, when they do uh, a uh, hawker and they go, you know, Well, that's staring. a bit more of like a yeah, well, they did that song and they dance. Did, they did that in the Civil War. Don't shoot until you see the whites of their eyes. Wait, really? So obviously there was some staring involved. Right. Maybe we used to paint the eye, whites can't of their shoot. eyes He's black. He's too cute. <laughs> <laughs> Just to avoid like a that. Chimp? I wish that uh, you know, like Pokemon, the video game, you're walking around and just trainers just come up to you and just aggressively want no, to no, fight your, your have, Pokemon. Hey, you want to fight, kid? About. Just that. I wish that just happened in real life, except with staring contests. You'd be walking down the street and someone Ooh. just pops out of the tall grass. Exclamation mark above your head. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you, you, you fucking loser. You're, you're paranoid. <laughs> I challenge you to you're a you're battle. You're paralyzed. Yeah. And yeah. You throw potions at each other. I don't know. These are just fantasies that have been kicking around. You throw potions at each other. Yeah, I don't know. If I, I don't fucking understand Pokemon. I mean, if you spat in someone's eye, would that help them in a staring contest or <laughs> hinder them? <laughs> Probably hinder them. Yeah. 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 But it would also lubricate their eyes. So. It's true. But it would probably also make them blink. Yeah. That's true. So it's a bit of a 50 50. If they're really tough and they don't blink, then that's impressive and they're just getting mm. a little bit of help. Mm hmm. Mm. Well, mm. what's going on, guys? <laughs> I went to get a haircut today. That's cool, man. Oh, that's, yeah. that's oh, a shame. Look at your hair. It's, it's all messed cool. up. Look that's a that. shame because last week on the oh. podcast, that person said they liked how you did your hair. Yeah. They yeah. Did. And they've gone and done a haircut. It's almost like you didn't like that. Yeah, them. but no, here's the thing. I went in today and I was like, hey, I'm ready for my cut. And they said, what's your name? And I said, here's my name. And they said, hmm, well, we should check this. And then it turned out that it was actually uh, next week. Oh, that is interesting. <laughs> so yeah, just another, another, another piece of shit thing to happen. Wait, so did you oh. still get your hair cut? No. Oh, oh must have been awkward. He said, come back later. I was like, really? I was like, you can't just trim my hair? There's mm. nobody, there's literally nobody in here. And they're like, no, you need a reservation. I said, yeah. Okay. Thank you. You don't hear about struggles like this in the paper. You know? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's all about fucking so and so was murdered. Yeah. Uh, so and so robbed the bank and uh, the, the economic hey, collapse. Somebody yeah. needs to catch the so and so guy. <laughs> true. Jesus Christ. True. true. On a Swagger rampage. Souls didn't get his hair cut. Yes. Swagger so and souls. <laughs> so and souls. You can sew them together. And then you have two souls, but they're one. That's kind of beautiful. Yeah. No. That's what marriage is. That's <laughs> what marriage is. We sewed our souls together. We, we, you know, we sewed our souls just, together. We sort of just limp yeah. around now. We combined assets. 
<laughs> That's what Bill and Mel- Melinda Gates did. And then someone came up and they're like, oh, <laughs> you need me to cut that thread for you? And Melinda was like, yes, please. He's still got a bit of Bill Gates' dead skin hanging from her foot to this day. Yeah, yeah. Lobster. And all his money. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> and all this money. Uh, Lobster diver is swallowed by whale. <laughs> What? what? <laughs> Where's this coming from? Lobster diver swallowed by whale. What is this an article? Josiah, Josiah Mayo was enveloped in the mouth of a whale for about 30 to 40 seconds. Packed, packard, twisted, turned, and coped with an agonizing pressure on his legs. He could feel the, wh- the whale's forceful hits, hit shakes. He was mm. in the mouth of a whale. I wow. wonder what it's like being in the mouth of a whale. <gasps> This is why there's whales. Oh, there's, oh, there's whales up on yeah, the screen. Whales are on the screen. They whales are right, massive creatures. That's really they foamy are water. Quite big. I, I like watching YouTube videos that are like, what if these prehistoric giants were around today? And it's oh, like yeah. 10 minutes of them yeah. just being like, they're really large <laughs> and they'd probably kill people. Yeah. Um, could our military defeat them? It's like, yeah, probably. But Okay. Well, that's yeah. that's good. Well, to maybe know. not theirs, but ours would. This is unrelated. This, yeah. this, yeah. This, they couldn't even kill emus. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? The wait, hum- wait. The guys what what do you think it's like inside a whale's mouth? Like, if, oh, if you, yeah, r- roomy. dark, <laughs> yeah, very but, dark, but but probably quite roomy. Probably they don't have teeth, do they? No, they they have uh, like it's like a uh, gristle, it's like a like a toothbrush kind uh, of deal. Dude, Could you stand up fully? Do you think? Could you st- in a whale's mouth? No. Oh. What? Well, how big is a whale mouth? Well, it's well, enough to swallow a guy. Sure, they could stand up in a whale. Yeah, right. but your mom swallows guys all the time. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the point is, this humpback whale swallowed a lobster dive a hole and spit him out. Um, Did the whale mistake him for a lobster? I don't, I don't know. Well, he was on... Was the, it a lobster that it, was diving? It says here he was on the ocean surface on Friday. He was watching the bubbles that emerged from his fishing partner's underwater breathing gear. And uh, the bubble suddenly stopped, and then an explosion of white water erupted from the sea. Mm. And he wasn't sure what he was witnessing. White water. A burly fish thrashed before him for a split second. He thought it was a great white shark. Turns out it was a humpback whale. That's what he's saying here. Interesting. And yeah, uh, yeah that whale just snatched him right up into white, his mouth. He wait, was so inside what, it. What he was happened? inside the mouth. White yeah. water is really, really dangerous because it's mixed with air. Um, so that way you, you actually sink. You can't, you can't float in white water. And yeah. also it, it's privileged. Yeah, um, exactly. <laughs> which, is, which is even more horrendous. Yeah. Oh my God. That yeah. white water. Just tell him to shut the fuck up. Yeah, right. it's too much right. whitewashing. Yeah, yeah, way too much. Mm. He says he likes to think of the whale as a teenager or a puppy. It probably <laughs> doesn't know what it was doing too well, he said. He's very forgiving to the whale. He's like, ah, I was a young whale. He didn't know he was trying yeah, to eat but me. Fucking teenager fucks up. You're not going to be like, oh, I just a I teenager know. being a teen. If a teenager no, ate me, true. I'd probably think it knew what it was doing. Exactly. That's true. So how did he escape? Well, I, I think the, the whale kind of just put him in his mouth and shook him around a bit, and then he sort of just got flung yeah, out. Yeah, the whale, the whale will just spit you out. Yeah. They Do whales uh, spit? They like, weren't actually interested spit? in eating they'll, uh, they'll, quote unquote, vomit. They'll open their mouth and just ex- exhale. What is it whale like? vomit really pricey? Um, or is that whale cum? No, no, it's, it's <laughs> whale, uh, it, it's like, guys, uh, it, it, it forms in their, in they their stomach lining. They use it in perfume or something. It's called, uh, what? What, the what the fuck is it called? It's like egress? Egress? Egress or something, yeah. Yeah, egress. Yeah, it, it, these fucking people uh, in, off the coast of, like, uh, Second World, Third World Country, like, found a fucking dead whale carcass, and they were like, oh, shit, it's gold, and they just fucking started hacking into it, yeah, getting into its stomach, mm. and then they just took out, like, it was millions of dollars worth of egress. It's, it's not crazy. egress, but it's something similar. Yeah, egress sounds like my great it's aunt or something. Ambergris. You know? Ambergris, there you go. What, what was it? Ambergris. Ambergris. Yeah. Ambergris. Wait, so how how valuable actually is ambergris? Can it might you... be ambergris. Yeah, yeah, whatever ambergris. it is. Uh, one article here is stating that an eight-year-old boy discovered a $65,000 piece of whale ambergris. Uh, mm. I think I've heard about that shit. Yeah. Was he in Australia or New Zealand by any chance, this, this boy? What did he buy? Somewhere on Earth. Fortunate son. If you were eight years old and you stumbled across 50 grand, what are you spending your money on? Uh, all a lot the, of bubble all, guns. Uh, fucking all the, all the Nerf guns. A financial <laughs> advisor and a lot of cryptocurrency. <laughs> no, I'm eight years old. A I'm, lot I'm, of crypto. I'm buying the ice cream truck for sure. <laughs> okay. okay that's oh, boy, decent. I just found one Bitcoin. I want to employ the ice cream truck driver and make him work for me. Yeah. Make him just make me cones all day. If you had $50,000 as an eight-year-old, you'd probably think that that was enough money to keep you going forever. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's like up in school. Yeah, yeah. you're like you, the you teachers can't tell me shit. <laughs> Although I make more than you, teacher. <laughs> just paying your schoolmates to just do shit for you. Yeah, I, I remember when I was a kid, 
I was the opposite. I thought that like a million dollars wasn't that much money. I thought really? that like everyone that that had like just normal people working a nine to five, did they made like a million dollars a year. I just thought that was a thing because I just didn't know what the <laughs> really? value of money really was. Really speaking wow. from a world of privilege right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. No, I'm not saying that my family was making that kind of money. I just didn't know how much like, money people made. Told me, here's a million dollars. Buy yourself an ice cream. Yeah, that's, what, I, that's what happened. And I, was I, don't like, I, I don't know if I have enough. <laughs> I was, uh, yeah, every time I go to the, the dairy, which is like a convenience store, I guess. Corner store, milk Corner bar. Corner store, milk bar, yeah. I would, you know, you go up, drop a stack, 10 Gs. Right. I'll have, uh, how many, how many, uh, how many gummies does this buy? How many mixed lolly bags can I get for that, please? <laughs> yeah. Probably about a thousand, you know? What, you reckon they're $10 each? No, it depends on the size of the bag. Well, get, some of them are a dollar lolly bags. It's a terrible mm. investment buying a that much gummies as a child. Yeah, I know. I know. How long do gummies last, I wonder? <laughs> A long time. Could you there. have a lifetime supply of gummies uh, uh, that you buy at one time? Maybe. Or would it go off? No, no. You just, just go off. Then you just always have to have a gummy cupboard in the house. Yeah. And it's just filled with you would, you would, you ceiling be, with gummies. You, you would be integrating like candy into your diet regularly. Would you turn into a pig? Yeah. Does it spirit it away? What the fuck? <laughs> no, no. Because that's what gummies are made out of. Oh. No, like pig she, hooves, right? Pigs made out of like bones and, and shit. And it's teeth. Like horse. Trotters. Is it horse? Yeah. Oh, it's okay. all kinds of bones and mush. And whatever else and goes in there. Sugar, syrup. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm Interesting. Like a gummy. Wow. Anyway, this lobster swallowed a man. All right. No, it was a no, whale. A whale oh. swallowed a lobster man. <laughs> Get your fucking facts straight. Look, this is CNN, fish. and I'm Karen. Look, the, All right. The, the thing that I find most confusing about that story is why was he diving for lobsters on the surface of the ocean? Lobsters are on the ground. What? That's why he was diving. <laughs> it's deep sea caging, bro. Okay, but if he was on the ground actually looking for lobsters, then he the whale would have been nowhere near him. They, they, I they, think they, they there were was diving, ulterior motives here. They were diving together. One of his friends was down on the bottom There's scooping no lo up lobbies. Look. And he was on the surface having a yeah. breather. I think they he were, was selling right, drugs. Was it mm. right outside the fishing guild? The what? Uh, yes. Oh, he's sure. getting lobbies. He had to make a fisherman pie to get in there, huh? Mm. Yeah, he was dealing drugs. Because they, they were rock lobsters. You know? oh. they, were, they like crack. <laughs> rock. Uh, yes. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, All right. What, what's joke. next on the news? Uh, the Anchor next Man. on the news, guys. Guys, it's a hectic day in the world. Um, hackers stole 780 gigabytes of data from EA. Um, That's not that much. Oh no! They're gonna, they're gonna know the loot box eyes. <laughs> Look, I don't know what this is about. Messages on forums indicate that the hackers took 780 gigabytes of data. That doesn't really sound like that much. Or of like no. user data in the grand scheme of things. That's like two EA games. servers and have full access. FIFA 21 matchmaking servers. What? They also purport to have much more, including the source code and debugging tools for Frostbite which powers EA's oh, most popular games oh, like shit. Battlefield, FIFA, and Madden. Wait, so, Frost, Frostbite runs Madden and FIFA? Yeah. Yeah, it's, oh, it's, so their, weird. it's their engine, so I guess they're just kind of do a That means there's going to be a bunch of hacks when the games come out. Like, oh, yeah. that sucks! <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, Have any of you guys ever bought hacks? Uh, no, I've downloaded them before. Yeah. But I, like, when I was, I would have been like 10. Mm, what mm. was it for? Uh, Minecraft. <laughs> it was yeah, the fucking. No, it was the that notice. Was hacks, it was yeah. notice. Notice client. So I would fucking get what ESP. It do? Oh, uh, ESP. It was like okay. ESP and by you could fly hacks. ESP means you can hack. see people through walls, right? Yeah, and I they had chest ESP too, so you could see chess everywhere. Oh so I would, oh, I, 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 would I would I would play yeah. Mind Z with notice and just find where all the chests were. Wow. And what, ESP. What is Mind Z? Is it? It was like Day Z Minecraft shit. It do you was build on, in it? No. Oh, okay. So it's survival. It's just, okay. just a big survival yeah. thing. I, I used to hack in TF2. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah? Just oh, for like okay. a couple of weeks. I could see everyone through the walls. It was kind of the best. And then I was like, okay, now this is boring. Yeah. Which is, I think, always the conclusion mm, when it comes yeah. to hacking in video games. Is that, well, that was... Like, I, most of the time, you just want to try it. You want to like. you want to know the story of how I how I uh, fell off with cheating how how I <laughs> how I how I learned that cheating is a is a loser mentality. Sure. 
I, I was playing a fucking Legend of Zelda game on my DS, and I had a, I think it was like a Game Shark or some shit. It was like a Game Genie, something that I could, like, hack into the game. Yeah. And I was, like, for, it, I was in, like, a dungeon part of the game where I needed a boomerang to hit a fucking thing. Mm. And I did a hack that gave me everything, but it gave me everything except for the boomerang. So I soft-locked uh-huh. myself, and then my kid, like, my game, it was, it was useless. And I spent, like, fucking two weeks playing it. <laughs> and and I fucked myself, and I remember crying, and my dad coming down and me like, son, what are you crying about? I was like, I ruined my life. <laughs> I, ruined, I, I ruined my life. He's like, what are you talking about? Like, I can't play my game anymore. I broke it. He's like, what do you mean? He's like, I cheated. He's like, well, uh, well, now you know that cheating in games is, not, is, is, is not good. It's not fruitful in no. the end. Mm. Absolutely not. Um, what about you guys? You ever hacked before? Uh, I got money for cheated. myself in GTA RP. I mean, mm-hmm. not GTA RP, just GTA Online. Yeah. Because nice. then that, that game, Ro- Rockstar built that game as just a money farm for themselves. Sure. It's like mm. every time a new update comes out for GTA Online, it's like, okay, so you know how uh, the new cars used to be 100,000? Well, now they're 10 million. And uh, to make that sort of money, you have to work for 60 hours in game to get one car. <laughs> you actually have to yeah. get a job in yeah. GTA. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I was like, nah, fuck this. I just want to fuck around. So I gave myself two bill. Two bill. Mm -hmm. And was that liberating or boring? Well, it was liberating for a little bit. And then I was like, well, now there's just no reason to play the game. It has no substance. Do you think that's what it feels like to win the lottery and just get like $200 million? And you're like, oh, this is extremely liberating. Oh, that's so interesting. I've already beaten the game. (laughs) I'm very depressed that my family all want money. You realize the game fucking sucks. Yeah, I guess then you would just be like, what do I do? You win 200 mil after tax. You still probably got just about 100 mil. You could probably give every member of your family a million dollars. That's a terrible idea. In Australia, lottery. Not, aren't taxed. They will remember that forever. They'll be like, man, remember when he gave me a million dollars? I wonder if he still got <laughs> yeah. some more. Yeah, but then I can say, fuck you, I already gave you a million. That's mm. true. I mean, you just got to stand up to them. But yeah. they'll be like, come on, man, you got so much more. I wonder if you would get to a <laughs> Don't point. Don't you love us, man? <laughs> where you've done everything you want to do. You've bought everything you want to buy, and you just buy it. And you're just kind of like, well, what do I do now? There's nothing left. And that's when you buy an island in a jet. A lot of children. Or a rope. <laughs> or, 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 and you <laughs> crush your teeth up into paste and go into the woods. Yes. 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 No, exactly. Dog collar. <clears throat> Absolutely. No, you just you have to figure out a different end game, I suppose. When you, yeah. When you have, I don't know. It's just like, villain. you know, imagine retiring in your 30s with, with millions of dollars. Like, what would you do? I would just get a bunch of hobbies. Yeah. I'd just get a bunch of gobbies. Yeah. Mm? Different women. That's a good hobby. Mm. For sure. Mm. For sure. For every drug there is, you can afford the habit. Yeah. Well, that's okay, but some of the drugs. Afford the habit. Some it's of the true. drugs you can are less afford about the best affording rehab. It. Just yeah. about a year long bander, be like, in your back of your mind, like, I can afford the best rehab. I'm going to be fine. <laughs> that's a really yourself. interesting idea. <laughs> just intentionally. Yeah. Can no, someone right. sponsor this? Bored. Let's we want to do this for a year. It's a Netflix show. The misfits take every drug for a year well, like, and like, then go like, to rehab. Like Hamilton's pharmacopoeia, we just try every drug and yeah. document it. Yeah. You think that it could produces. be interesting. Yeah, but no, that I'm not going to do it, but that could be very Fuck interesting. That. I'll do like all the fun ones. I'll do it if Netflix gives me a million dollars. I'm not going to be cracking open fucking Benzodrax and drinking it. What drug lasts the longest? Um, I'm probably meth, saying psychedelics, I right? I think meth. Yeah. That lasts like days. T- yeah, but... Meth lasts days? Meth no, lasts like 24 you, hours, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah. Really? We, if you just take you, one hit? You won't sleep for like a week on that I don't know how much you have to take, but like, yeah, if you take enough meth, and I don't even think it's that much, you'll be up for 24 hours. Mm. Like, or you'll you'll feel high. Mm. It probably starts declining around 12, but I don't know. I just want to take Crocodile, dude. Do you think like, you know how actors sometimes have to put on a lot of weight or lose a lot of weight for a movie role? Yeah. If you're playing the drug addict, do you think any actor would just be like, fuck it, I'm just going to get... Fucking get into character. I feel like enough yeah, spend enough a few months actors, getting fucked up. Enough actors method to act act to that degree. Johnny Depp would do similar things. I yeah. think uh, he played a character that was like struggling with alcoholism, and then he just started drinking. Yeah. Um. Just to. Yeah, that character was a pirate. Um, <laughs> yeah. So Captain Jack Sparrow. Yeah. To, uh, to get into character for <laughs> Captain Jack Sparrow, he, he used to rob people and pillage and rape cities. Jesus. No, he never raped. <laughs> That's it's a like fucking Johnny Depp is pillaging and raping. <laughs> yeah, he's just Johnny. getting in character, <laughs> let him do his thing. <laughs> you imagine that? <laughs> Imagine yeah. fucking sailing the Caribbean. That sounds pretty cool. Honestly. Although, although Captain it, Jack was never that sort of pirate. 
He was more of a whimsical pirate. Yeah. Is it Caribbean or is it Caribbean? I always said Caribbean growing up until I heard that Lonely Island song. Yeah. Where they were like, we're the pirates of the Caribbean. Mm. <laughs> you know that one? Yeah, but Caribbean sounds nicer. Yeah. Come on down to the Caribbean. That, yeah. Don't do, do that Come shit. on down to the Caribbean. <laughs> yeah, not oh, that, that kind of works. Not that <laughs> off immediately. <laughs> not... I was just trying to come up with the jingle. Yeah, uh, the tourism agency. Yeah, we know, they, you. we know they need that. <laughs> <laughs> come on down to the Caribbean. Like, <laughs> See, we it's, it's fucking talk sketchy. Like Still drums in the background. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> pop, pop, pop. Oh, man. Hi, me. Sunny beaches and bananas. Hi, me. Caribbean or Caribbean. Whale swallowing. What? Whale swallowing. Oh, whale swallowing. Yeah. Yeah. Don't type that into your search bar. <laughs> whale swallowing. It'll just be fucking pearls sucking up. Oh my god, your dick's <laughs> like a whale's. <laughs> really, it's really strangely proportioned and bumpy. <laughs> uh, Is that a joint in it? The fuck? I wonder what yeah. animal has the weirdest dick. Uh, geese. Oh, we've talked about this before. Did we? Really? Geese got, Are they got, the ones that have spiky dicks? They got the spiky barbed corkscrew cock. Mm, spiky barbed corkscrew. corkscrew cock. Oh my goodness. Yep. Yeah, geese. Geese just have a certain energy around it. It's like, yeah. don't fuck with me. Yeah, geese, it, geese just look like they can take whatever they want. I reckon <laughs> if geese were a little smarter, they could run the world. <laughs> you reckon? Who run the world? They're, geese. <laughs> they're fucking terrifying, dude. Yeah, you 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 get a SWAT dude, you know, some jacked dude who's used to fighting off wanted criminals. Right. He's walking in the park with his son. He sees a geese. He's like, "Nah, fuck that." He runs. <laughs> really? True. Yeah. Legally, you haven't they seen have people to. like just grab a goose by the neck and just <laughs> oh, fucking yeah, just fucking yeah. have him throw him around. I think we associate <laughs> with different people. <laughs> I guess the problem. I guess the thing is, people don't want to hurt an animal. Oh, that's bullshit. That's probably what's scary about geese. Like, I don't want to hurt the ge goose. No, nah, if a goose fucking charges me, I'll grab it by his little stupid neck and I'll give it a little. Yeah, but we already know that you love killing animals. I don't like love it. I do here. what I have to do in self defense. Yeah, yeah. fish was coming at me. Those fish are really dangerous, huh? Hey, man. <laughs> Geese could hurt you. Yeah, a, a goose could hurt you. It could, uh, you know, pluck, it could, like, bite pluck, you. pluck your jugular, could you know, your goose. femoral artery. Like, you need to defend yourself and your family, which how is much? why uh, yeah, yeah. you should always carry a gun. True. How, you... But how much damage could a goose really do? Well, well, I'm not going to sit there and find out, Toby. Yeah, but I am genuinely curious. How much damage could a goose do? Well, probably a alarming amount. You reckon? Yeah. yeah, especially on a PR front. They're just fucking... I'm it thinking, will spread plenty of gossip about you, Toby. It'll probably, it'll probably do 6 to 10 <laughs> HP per tick. I didn't get that joke at all. <laughs> Honestly, neither did I. <laughs> I was trying to formulate it while oh, I was okay, saying it, okay. which is why I started talking No, slow. that's fine. That's fine. You know, <laughs> it, it, I, I was just trying to find... I thought there was something clever in there, and I was like, damn, yeah, I'm just dumb. I don't get it. There very rarely is. Mm, okay. you, but if you wake up and there's a goose in the house, right? and yeah. you don't have a gun, mm. and you have maybe kids or a, a, a wife... You know, yeah. And uh, what do you do? Do you I try do you handle chew it, it do you, out? You know? Do you handle it yourself, or you call someone? Oh, that's a good point. I think, ooh, you, free dinner. <laughs> and then I, I grab a cleaver, and then I go to town. Then I don't know if I could. Oh, man, I don't know if I could do kill a goose, goose with a cleaver. Huh? Yeah, people eat geese. Yes. Yeah. Is that like yeah. cooked goose. Yeah, Same cooked goose. goose. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. I wonder what it tastes like. Goose. That's, yeah. Uh, that's nearly, pretty. nearly chicken. Believe it or not. Oh wow. You say that about everything. Yeah. They do say that about everything. He's well, got a point. Like mm. You sound yes. like a real idiot right now. They say that about everything. <laughs> do they? <laughs> Fucking idiot, dude. They say you that know, about everything. Do you, know, do, you, do you know what doesn't taste like chicken, but tastes better than chicken? Gamer subs dot gg. There you go. Uh -huh. Gamer subs, baby. Mm. Gamer subs dot gg. Use code MISFITS for 10% off your gaming energy needs. We got mm. good flavors. What are you sipping on? I'm sipping on some mango. Some mango? Some mango it's good meta? Shit. That's right. Wow. Yeah. It's really good. It tastes it, nice. It tastes nice? Is yeah. it energizing? Do you mm. want to, do, do you feel the erection coming? Nope. Semi? Nope. Just a flaccid. Tingle? Nope. Just feeling good. Just feeling good. Just feeling good on the gamer subs. No erection here. I, I love. <laughs> <laughs> we'll report back in five minutes. I love that. Uh, <laughs> you stand up for us real quick. Or? Good. It's the best good ever. It's like a whisper. I love that. Uh, that it's so easy to tell when we're pivoting into a, a, a an ad. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Why? I don't know. It's just. Is it because I get a certain energy about me? Okay. This is it is I epic. get a little energetic? Maybe because I drank four times the recommended amount yeah. of gamer sucks yeah. today. Maybe yeah. it's because I had eight scoops. 
in a shot. All right. I think Do this I look like a bitch to yeah. you? No one yeah. thinks you're a bitch. Like a pussy? No one's a talking bit. about you no. like you're a bitch. Yeah. I'm not I a mean, bitch, no. everyone, nor am I a pussy. Everyone thinks yeah. things are pretty I'm cool. I'm a man. And okay. I'm yeah. a man that likes energy. Yeah, we know. Okay. Yeah. I'm energized. a gamer. He's fired up. I'm a trendsetter. It's yeah, okay. it's the gamer subs minute right here. You're a gamer. Yeah, I can tell. Is it because uh, it's because of those fire JBL headsets you've got oh, there? Oh yeah, it's yeah. true. Yeah. <laughs> are you gonna keep going? Or do, <laughs> no, do you want no. me to take this one too? <laughs> yeah, yeah, take it. You got this. Yeah, I'm all about this right now. <laughs> What does JBL stand for? Wait, just ba ju just banging, listening. Yeah. Wait, did JBL really make make microphones? Yeah, yeah. Uh, sure? Speakers, headphones. Yeah, these these hands hands come with mics. Yeah, that's right. We're not using them right now hmm. because this is a podcast, hmm. and podcasts use sick. these mics. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Duh. Mm. I like they got the volume on the side. Then I can just like mute you guys. See, I can't hear any, I can't hear anything you're saying right yeah. now. Just, God. Uh -huh. I wish I could mute just uh -huh. you. Well, just say I had <laughs> to turn it back up. Say anything. I turned it up. I didn't okay. say anything. No, okay. I'm turning it down. I just missed it. Well, yeah, that was back up. now that that fucking shit show of a segue is over, I what's that was next great on segue. the news? Oh, you want more news, do you? Of course I want more news. I, I kind of like this news I want you to be slapping You guys didn't even news. talk about my hacker stole 780 gigabytes of data from EA thing. Yeah, and yeah, just started I... talking about other stuff. But to be fair, I don't really understand this article either. Police access safe WA app data WA? for murder investigation. Safe WA? Attorney General John Quigley. That's his real name. John Quigley. Hey, that is it's a me, person, Attorney General John Quigley. Said police had legally issued two notices for the health department to hand over business checks or businesses check-in data related to a murder and a stabbing case. <laughs> John Quigley. John, uh, is Attorney uh, John Attorney General John Quigley? Attorney General. Yeah. What does John that? Quigley. What does the Attorney General mean? Oh, he's just generally an attorney. <laughs> wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you say yeah. WA as in WA? Yeah, safe WA. As in Western Australia? Maybe. Yeah, yeah probably not safe WA. No, it was... Uh, it might uh, be safe WA. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's safe to say it's safe WA. Um, urgent legalization is being introduced into the WA Parliament today after police access QR code check-in information from the safe WA app as part of a high-profile murder investigation. This is... A little alarming. Yeah, actually, I, what do you guys, how do you feel about that? That's Mr. Quigley right there. Oh, yeah. can you? It, it resembles a hard-boiled egg. <laughs> That's not relevant to the article. It's just a little something I like to he say. He looks like a loaf of sour, though. Uh, okay. <laughs> Dude, it's some some wine. John Quigley is just trying to get the information out here. And if you put glasses on a loaf of bread, it would look like it. <laughs> John it Quigley. Like a yeast starter. Anyway. <laughs> oh, my God, uh, dude. <laughs> Okay, I got me John Quigley's just trying to get by. What, dude? Bro, he's just how? trying to find the family. Dude, <laughs> he's trying dude, to dude we can't I say like this. We're gonna get raided. I, like, yeah, I like right. to imagine John Quigley has uh, has a, has a lisp. <laughs> I don't know, dude. It would just be so funny. Be like, I'm with Tanny Dan with John Quigley, <laughs> and you're being investigated for murder. We uh, we we tracked you through the Safe WA app. If he was a mayor, he'd be Mayor Quigley. Mayor Quigley. Like Mayor Quimby yeah. from The Simpsons. Wow. That, that show about that guy that killed his wife. Never seen it. Mm. Basically, the point of this article is, <laughs> what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> I was reading this shit trying to understand it. And something has just taken place on the podcast. Let's talk about that show, <laughs> The Simpsons. Ah, uh, yeah. Haven't yeah, because Mayor Quigley. Haven't seen it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> haven't seen it. <laughs> Basically, you know how you have to check in for COVID at restaurants? Yeah. The police are you accessing that data. Yeah, that doesn't yeah. seem... To, to solve a murder case, which, you know, is like one of those things. Where it's I don't like, know well, if that's that bad. Is it that bad? Yeah, I mean, what? I guess it depends on where it, where it leads, but... If they, I uh, check in at a sex shop, are they going to do that? Are they gonna check? They're going to silently well, I think judge you. at the sex shop is the worst of your problems if you, like, killed someone, you know? Well, <sighs> what if I didn't kill someone? What if I was just checking oh, in? Oh, you just want some killer deals. Yeah. I was just... <laughs> That's just invasion of privacy. That's <laughs> slashing exactly. prices at yeah. the sex shop. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, it's this, this, this constant question of, like, who has access to our information and should they have access to our information? Mm. You know? If, especially if it's to help a good cause, like catching a stabber. 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 Yeah. stabber. Let's call him what he is. Serial stabber. stabber. He's a serial stabber. Stabber? It was a stabbing. I stabber, I barely know her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Barely know her. Okay, I, was, I wasn't but, ready right, that, for that one. That's not a good one because it implies that if you got to know her, you might consider stabbing her. It's like, oh, yeah. Stabber, I barely know her. It's like, well, 
It implies that you might stab her later. Yeah, but why According would you? your phone logs, you've known each other for two months now. <laughs> why would you stab a woman you barely know when you could stab one you do know? <laughs> honestly yeah. really true. What are you saying? Really... You're not like one night stands or something? You don't like stabbing women? There's yeah. a lot of sense in that. Yeah. Um, you know, why murder someone you don't know? Just murder someone you do know. Well, most people yeah. murder people they do know. You know, you, you give it a stabbing and then you stab it. Yes. Mm. Most most crimes are crimes of passion. You get in her gash, true. and then you give her another gash. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> gash and slash. Yeah. yeah. Buys. Whenever I when it, whenever buys talks about a vagina, he calls it a gash, and I just love it. Yeah, it's a very Aussie a thing. I no, don't very UK, UK thing. thing. Yeah, how, do, gash. how do women bleed out their gash every month? Like, Ooh. if you get a gash, Dude, just fucking put a bandaid on it. I like, can't be thinking about bleeding gashes, guys. Yeah. All right. Do you think there had, there would have had to have been at least one person in the world that when they got their first period, they put a fucking bandaid over it. Yeah, probably. I mean, is that kind of what like a pad oh, is? Just covered like, it up, just yeah. sealed it off. Like, like, oh, that's not good. I, I don't know why I didn't think to <laughs> seal this up earlier. This, <laughs> this is a hole in me, <laughs> a gaping yes. wound. Yeah, <laughs> I that's should a have good point. taken care of this. A gaping wound. That is one way to describe a vagina. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. Oh my goodness. Come on. Oh my goodness. This is CNN. <laughs> I invite you on here to have an intellectual debate I'm about so certain articles of a wacky variety. I'm so sorry, you're Fitz. talking about I'm not taking you seriously. Nonsense. You're not. I know. You're not taking me seriously. You're not taking the American people seriously. I love the American people. We all do. We all do. How could we not? Yep. We are in the pocket of the U.S. government. The Misfits Podcast. Shilling God out. fucking bless uh, Uncle Sam. Bless Let's go, Uncle, Uncle Sam. Samuel. Yes. Do you uh do you don't not answer to the U.S. president? You still answer to Uncle Sam? You know, old school like that. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who is Uncle Sam? Yeah, he's the old mate. Hey, mm. I, isn't he kind of like really racist? <laughs> dude, he's <laughs> dude. He grew up in a different time. Okay, that's okay. What he grew up in a say. different time. It was you know. Yeah. Fair enough. The Trail of Tears was just like a fun activity back then. They just thought it would be like an endurance, like endurance training. Yeah. <laughs> The what? The Trail of Tears? I don't know. I've not heard that before. It's a, it's a roller coaster. Well, it's a water slide. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so. Have Sounds you really cool. never heard of the Trail of Tears? No, I haven't. Wow. I, I'm not American. You're not American? No. And they say Americans are uneducated. What's the Trail of Tears? <laughs> <laughs> Explain. You know what the Trail of Tears is? I know of the Trail of Tears. It's Andrew Jackson, one of the, Andrew one of the fucking uh, presidents. He's yeah. on the $20 bill, uh, ironically. He was in the Jackson he, 5, right? Yeah, he was in the Jackson 5. Yeah. He was the... He was, <laughs> he was the Andrew in it. Yeah. <laughs> he, uh, He's Michael's brother. Yeah. Yeah, he basically took all of the Native Americans that lived in, like, the South and Eastern United States and said, hey. And sent them down a water slide. You are being moved. So mm. pack up all your shit, and we're going to march you out to the Western U.S. And mm. it, it was hundreds of thousands of people died during that march. Wow. Um, yeah, awful. It was, a, it was a genocide. That's crazy. Yeah. I, should, uh, I should actually know about this because I'm reading a book about Native Americans really? right now. And uh, it's about how do you how would you say it? Uh, you probably know how it's pronounced. Osage, o Osage, the uh, the massive county. Um, this is basically a Native American tribe that got really rich off of oil uh, mm. way back in the day. And then there were certain murders linked to the beginning of the FBI. I've just started this book. I don't really know too much about it, but right. probably probably covers the Trail of Tears and that. So I'll keep reading. I'll get back to you in book club in a week. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What have you guys been reading? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, reading palms, classics, classics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what like, kind? Like the Bible. Uh, or, uh, <laughs> you know, fucking Mein Kampf, Communist Manifesto. Yeah, you know, just the normal, the good ones. stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah, Declaration of Independence, yeah. Lolita. Yeah. What? All the good shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. My diary. Yeah. Yeah. My sister's diary. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I like that one. What color beard do you think is the best color beard? I think a white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just let's, thinking because you know how Uncle Sam <laughs> has a white beard. Yeah, um, and you, you, Fitz was saying that Uncle Sam is racist, and I was thinking, well, kind of like I feel like anyone with a white beard is racist. It's just like Colonel, just any Colonel old man. Like, what, what? Colonel hair. Sanders? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he looks like a racist. You type. think? How? Okay, Father Christmas. 
You are, you think he's racist? Yeah. You, well, why do you think there are certain places that don't bro, celebrate Christmas? Bro, Santa's black. What the fuck are you guys talking about? Yeah, but he's got a white beard. Okay, yeah. no, but that's that's the difference. A black person with a white beard is just a nice, humble, cute guy. But a white person with a white beard, probably a psychopath. That makes no... <laughs> it's just you just creating a wedge between people with beards for no reason. That's what well, you're doing. I was just trying to figure out what the best... You're, I was just trying to make a beard color tear list. You're sowing seeds of discord. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with having a white beard. I'm just saying that you are a racist. <laughs> so you're saying... Therefore, you're saying there's nothing wrong with being racist. Oh, oh shit. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not saying that. Right. The racism part, that's not good. But the white beard, that's fine. That's a convoluted argument. One day you'll have a white beard and I'll be fucking judging you. Yeah? Yeah. Why would I have a white beard? Just because once, one day you will. You'll be like, yeah, well, Do all, well, well, my white beard face. Well, some people get gray beards. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's true, too. That's a gray area. It's hard to say whether they're racist or not, those folks. <laughs> oh, no, I think a gray beard just is like a nice little little, little salt and pepper. Gray beard the pirate. Nice pirate. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. What's the way they call it? Silver fox? Mm. Mm. Little George Clooney action, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah. Also <laughs> in the news. You guys think I just have unlimited articles? Yeah. yeah. I, have, I have three and I didn't read them before I started little, the show. <laughs> wait, was it really only three? <laughs> no, the only other thing on this list is that David Dobrik uploaded a new video after a year-long break. Wait, he uploaded a new video? Which truly is scraping the bottom of the, bottom of the news barrel. Mm. He did Holy upload shit. a new barrel. Did you guys watch it? Well, he got oh. in a bunch of trouble, didn't he, old Dobrik? Why? What for? Well, for oh, uh, being friends like... with Dirty Dom, who was a, a sex offender. Oh, he's a dirty little an alleged, dirty D, doesn't alleged, he? Alleged, yeah, alleged, allegedly. alleged sex offender. Alleged. He, he uh, does kind yeah. of... I don't know much about that shit. I mean, I just don't know what you expect from a guy whose name is fucking Dirty Dom. I also feel like you watch Are his you videos and you... kidding me? When you watch his videos, it does kind of feel like watching the diary of a sex offender. <laughs> what? And who's the sex offender? David Dobrik or Dirty no. Dom? No, not, not David Dobrik. Uh, I, I haven't seen... This other guy's vlogs. Dirty Dom's vlogs are just like frat boy parties. Mm. Yeah, well, I look, you know, <laughs> David's I'm not back. saying he's a sex offender. <laughs> I pr I don't know I don't know anything about this drama, so I'm not gonna fucking even get into that shit. Mm. But the point is, is that he's back, and that's the only thing left on the list. I'd love to meet David Dome and cool do like a cool video with him. Yeah, like maybe like uh, I can get like on an excavator or something and have me like be spin around <laughs> like, with no safety equipment or like you know regard yeah. for my own life. That'd be so cool. That would be cool, man. Mm. It would make a great thumbnail. Yeah, if you were like just thrown through the air, thrown through the air, maybe hit a rock or something. Mm. That'd be a great way to go. We should we should film that. We should film that. I, I, you know, did you guys, uh, did you guys keep up with the thing about Dream's face getting leaked? Uh, no, we should we'll not, not keep up with it. We should not talk about this. Why not? I don't know. <laughs> because that shit is. Monka S about faces no, getting no, leaked. I'm not talking yeah. about the. Yeah. I'm not talking about his face getting leaked allegedly. It probably wasn't his face, but I'm talking about what the the the. the there was this tweet that went big where this dude was like, "Dream fucking Catfish. uh, catfished us. He we, he led us to believe he was some." cute little twink or something and then he and then he's not which is so fucked up because just because he didn't show his face people assume that he was this attractive dude mm. that's what happened to me this is weird I don't, I don't i don't get it i assume dream wasn't out there being like hey i'm i'm a sexy little twink <laughs> <laughs> I I honestly Actually, I'm, I'm pretty sure he went on the record saying i am a little baby twink with a fat dumpy Mm. And I need some sloppy toppy. And he said that on the record. Yeah, I would, it's buried somewhere in a seven-page twit longer. Uh, he said that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think he wrote it in a bathtub at 3 a.m. So for, forgive him if it, you know, if there's spelling mistakes. Well, but what is that joke? Why is it a bathtub at 3 a.m.? <laughs> he wrote it twit longer, and he like prefaced the whole thing with, like, I'm writing this uh, in the bath at 4 a.m. I think that was when he admitted to, oh. to the speedrun thing. Yeah, or maybe not. I don't know. Dream is... dream. I think Dream... Dream is great, but he like he just needs to learn to just not fucking talk, like to just not say anything, like just right. to shut up. It sounds like most people. Yeah, it sounds like us. I don't think you need to write a fucking twit longer for every stupid like in insignificant bit of drama that fucking unfolds. Yeah, yeah but come on, man. We all get in a bath at 4 a.m. and be like, all right, time to crack the knuckles and write a tweet yeah, longer. Yeah, dude, but, but just drink red wine and jack off and then go to bed. Don't jack off in the bath. That's disgusting. Well, after. After, after the bath. After the bath. Yeah, I suppose. Not in. Not in the bath. Anyway, the point is is that um, 
Yeah, no one cares. Yeah, monkey, <laughs> monkey, Twitter, stupid. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? What? I don't know, man. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, etc. We're exactly. just a bunch right. of little monkeys Come on, on this podcast just gonna, chimping just, around. We'll just continue the podcast uh, through uh, you. Ooh, ooh. No, that we did that last yeah, week. We did that a lot, actually. We did that last week. Ooh. All right, let's pretend that we're the three of us, myself, Toby, and Matt, are exploring a jungle. Okay. And mm-hmm. all of a sudden, a monkey... Uh, so it's getting increasingly aggressive at us while we're just trying to make conversation. Yeah, so Feds, basically, I was walking Ooh. through. Yeah. Oh, hang on, is that a monkey? That is a monkey. Ooh. Yeah, so oh, I was looking at the map. Yeah. I didn't realize Ooh. we got... Yeah. Hey, a monkey! Hey, would... fun, quiet down over there! <laughs> Get out of here! Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. hey, where's the second? I had yeah. the map backwards. That's uh-huh. why we lost. Oh, so we're just in the middle of nowhere hey, now. Hey, monkey! Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Hey, oh. you friendly monkey? Yeah, this monkey's really arcing up at us. It's kind of alarming. Hey, hey guys, look, you're poking well, with a stick. Matt, 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 don't don't poke the monkey. The monkey. Literally... Well, what's wrong? It's just a monkey. What's the uh, monkey going to no, do? He's going to literally rip your arms off, Matt. No, oh, I Matt, ain't. you keep poking that monkey. He's oh, going to rip your arms off. Oh, oh, my God. And Matt's dead. But the monkey's chill with us. Would yeah. you like to join our expedition, little monkey? Yeah. Right. Look, uh, do you know how to read maps? I think that's a yes. It sounds like a yes. Yeah, it sounds like a we yes. Can't, we can't try, swing on trees, though. We're trying to get from here to here. What yeah. do you say about that? Ooh. All right. Yeah. yeah, yeah so what we that. were thinking. Yeah, All wrong right. way. Exactly. <laughs> let's go. Let's double back. Yeah, we should, should have brought the car. Several hours later, we emerge from the forest. Dragging Matt's dead body behind us. Yeah. His arms have, uh, we've tried to reattach them, but yeah. they're sort of a little bit limp and dangling. Monkey on sweat, on Fitz's shoulders. That's right. He's calmed down. He's actually having a little nap on my shoulders, yeah, this he's, monkey. He's a nice boy. We find the van, we get in the van, and we drive back to the city with our new monkey friend. Yeah. We give Matt a proper burial, mash his teeth up into a little paste. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bury him underneath a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Anyway, that was just a little bit of improv for you guys, a, if you can tell. Yeah. Um, I think there wasn't I, I actually think, a monkey here. Yeah, we were. I think I did the part. I think I really, did. I really worked the part. You did work the part, man. Yeah. 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 If you wanted to get into voice acting as a monkey, could probably do it. Do you? Th- are there it. many voice acting jobs that are specifically for monkeys? Sure. Like real monkeys? Yeah. Like they put out a flyer like real monkeys only? Yeah. Audition? I mean, ooh. 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 <laughs> ooh. <laughs> they just post ads around the jungle. Yeah. 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 What do you reckon? <laughs> uh-huh. Where would be the best place in the world to build a tree house? Okay. Well, I'd start with a tree somewhere. You're probably um, not a desert. Yeah. Probably not a desert. Not in Antarctica. Detroit. Property prices are pretty cheap. You can get a nice yard, a good big tree. True. <laughs> it's the massive tree. Yeah, I wonder, look, if you could, it would be pretty cool to buy a house, right? Or a right. lot of land. Everyone's like, oh, they're going to build a house there. Mm. And then you go, no, I'm going to plant a really big tree. A single sapling wait 75 <laughs> years. Yeah. <laughs> build, build a big redwood tree in mm. the middle of an urban city. <laughs> and then on top of it, build the... Codename Kids Next Door Headquarters. Oh. Mm, I always wanted that shit, dude. Isn't there some legality around airspace that might okay, make that we, a problem? Okay, okay, we'll build it smaller. Okay. Small, smaller like, tree. You're right. We'll, feet get, under, we'll, you're good. we'll get some anti aircraft. <laughs> I don't think that's what he meant, but we'll all get right, our own America. little iron dome to go <laughs> yeah. over the yeah. fucking <laughs> the tree. <laughs> you just plant it, you buy a plot of land, you plant a sapling in the middle, and you start setting up furniture around the sapling. And then you're just like, they're like, aren't you going to build a house? Like, oh, I'm just waiting for this to grow. Yeah. yeah. I'm just waiting for the shade to come in. Yeah. Well, what, what we would do is we'd build a sapling. We'll plant a sapling, sorry. Build a house on top of the sapling. And then as the tree grows, it would lift the house. Yeah. And then you'd have the ultimate tree house. Just like bone meal it. And then it'll like instant. Yeah. Are you sure you wouldn't just end up having roots kind of go through your floor and fuck up your house and mm. basically damage your investment? Yeah. My house doesn't usually see any roots. <laughs> okay, mm. like in a sexual capacity or like, sexual capacity? Yeah, no. Roots no, I just got house. no trees. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> right, it's a sad, Rick desolate, house. barren house indeed, Toby. Yeah, my house has a satellite dish in it for some reason. I like got really? really, really big satellite dish in the, in the yard or inside the house. In the yard. Mm. Wow, you do any you do any channel surfing? Uh, no, no, no. Like, when was the last time that you that you went channel surfing? When was the last time that you guys went on the guide? I haven't on TV. I haven't been on. I don't. And I genuinely don't remember the last time I watched normal TV. Really? It was, yeah, it was that long ago. Yeah, I watched it at, when I visited home with my parents. I watched a little bit of normal TV, but I couldn't stand it. You know, mm. it was. Uh, What's so bad about it? It's ads. Normal. It's normal. 
you have to wait for iCarly to come on. It's not on demand. You know, really? Just the, is there not an iCarly channel? <laughs> yeah, you'd think there would be. Yeah. It's that good, but no. There should be a channel just for all the best um, cartoons. Oh, yeah, like the internet? Like this. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, yeah. We could make it. A platform in which we can just upload whatever we want. <laughs> some kind of did you know that some kind of system? Did you know that YouTube started as a dating platform? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Isn't that crazy? It, it was a a dating platform where you could upload a video and talk about yourself, and then they decided to pivot and turn it into just a place where you can upload videos. Wow, that's fascinating. So people would use just upload video dating profiles. Yeah, of them yeah, jacking be some off. fucking nerd being like, hey, you guys, met a zoo. Oh, <laughs> look, uh, me, it's me at the zoo. Okay, <laughs> yeah. that, that was cool the first video, video right? Yeah, yeah. It was the first video. It some... was called YouTube because it was about you getting into a tube. <laughs> getting the fucking tube. Or a tube getting into you. Yeah, oh, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Either way, you and tube coming together. Mm. All right, Toby, could you just give us a quick dating profile for yourself? Okay. Hi, guys, I'm Toby. <laughs> I'm 23 years old. Um, I love going to church, walking down the beach, and clubbing seals. <laughs> clubbing seals. This is like two <laughs> truths and a lie, right? Uh, yep. And it's got to be going to church is the lie, right? Yeah, it's ah. a, yeah don't go to church. Um, I have. Uh, uh, I really want to climb some mountains, maybe okay. maybe like Mount Everest or something. So if oh. you're an adventure type, uh, you'd love me. Well... You might not love me yet. Haven't done any yet, but hoping to in the future. <laughs> Basically, I just want someone to take me out, kind of show me the world, show me an adventure. And uh, I think that might be you. Are you sure you're looking for a romantic partner or a fucking Sherpa? <laughs> what, 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 <laughs> what's, a, what's a Sherpa? Someone who takes you up a mountain or on a quest of sorts. Ooh. Who escorts you on a dangerous journey. Well, upwards. no, because I want to have sex with them on the mountain. Okay, so you want like a Sherpa with benefits. <laughs> yeah, a little Sherpa with benefits action. Uh, so anyway, if you like me, my number is 04. <laughs> um, Just give them your number. Yeah. Wow. Dude, I would love to climb Mount Everest. Not not to reach the peak or anything like stupid like that, but I just want to I just want to see all the I want to see all the fucking frozen bodies, in time right? dead bodies oh, just shit. littering oh, littering Everest. Swagger loves <laughs> death. You think it's what it's like? It's just the it's the hill of corpses. It is, yeah. bro. They use them as like the markers. Fucking yeah, like, oh, yeah, send the no, fucking there. dead yeah, people. Okay, don't yell at me. There'll be a fucking American yelling show over here on the side of the table. <laughs> it's Everyone's like there's, there's, there's all those like arms sticking out of the side of Mount Everest and frozen faces looking horrified. You know, for sure people have died, but it's no, not like, there's like a there's lot. A lot. It's not like you're hundreds. woken up and you're just seeing corpse after corpse. <laughs> no, you are. You are. You are. Oh, I'm sorry. You guys have been to Everest and seen it for yourselves. I've seen plenty there's of documentaries. People go up, go up the valley like, oh, there's green boots. Yeah. You know how he, he got that name? He's wearing green boots because he died with green boots on. You know, yeah, but, you know, it's not quite the picture you're painting, I don't believe. You know, in New Zealand on the $5 note, we have a guy that climbed mountains. He was really? actually Sir Edmund Hillary Clinton. He was actually the second person to to climb the, to, to the top. Yeah, along and now with he's, Tenzin Norgay. And now he's on the five dollar note in New Zealand. New Zealand so. does love climbing Mount Everest. It's like that developer yeah. Dean Hall for days. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Would you rather finish your video game that's been in early access for five years, or climb Mount Everest for the third time? I can tell you. He's climbed it three it. times? I think he's done twice. What's or the three? point after the first one? He just oh, likes climbing mountains. Dude. You know? Surely there's other mountains to climb. Although I guess it wouldn't quite match up. Once you've climbed the biggest mountain, also what you want to do is climb that. Although big I feel mountain. like uh, then, I feel like then you, then you wait until you can go to Mars and then you climb Olympus Mons. How big's that? It's like three times the size of Everest. Ooh, big yeah. one. Mm, yeah, big. but is it snowy? No, yeah, it's so Mars. It's sandy it's, yeah, and rocky. It's not, not as cool, is it? Yeah, it's cold. There's Probably not going to be any frozen uh, bodies. It's cold, not a lot of oxygen, a lot of radiation, you know. Yeah, oh. but you wear a spacesuit. Yeah, but that would be so much harder to, to climb up a mountain. In. What's the gravity What's the like on Mars? One third. So that's Did a little like easier. It would be a little easier, but I feel like maybe not... Maybe, maybe not immediately. Because mm. like you're going to go there and you're going to... It's like when people went to the moon... It was like what in eighth yeah, Earth gravity? That happened. Yeah, go on. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And, and they were like they they would be hop essentially oh. bunny hopping mm -hmm. is what they called it because you just jump around because you couldn't walk. Bro, right. the footage just slowed down, bro. What do you mean? They're walking just fine. Bro, they took the knife out. They were hitting the bee hops. <laughs> they were surfing. It was good. Man, don't don't run with a knife on the moon. It's a rule one. Well, mm. I I think it'd probably be relatively safe. <laughs> what? what happens? Oh, I dropped it. 
<laughs> Hang on, there's a knife slowly <laughs> coming towards you. <laughs> I wonder, like, if you shot a gun on space, in sp in space, yeah. and let's say hypothetically it was able to ignite and work, would it just keep going at the same speed that it left the chamber? Yeah. Well, in there's space, constant, like forever. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yes. it would, and you would, and you would go back. Yeah, the same in, amount. The same amount in the opposite direction. Wait, so would you ever stop? Well, would you ever stop? Well, you would probably um, be touching some particles that would be offering resistance, but no, there would there would be little to no drag. Yeah, but like eventually you're gonna hit some stuff, right? That's my eventually, down. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the Space thing. It's like debris. it's like if you're stuck and you're and you're floating away from from like the station, whatever. They had ideas to fit out like fucking like one kg like ball bearings or whatever to to spacesuits and it's like concept like shit. So yeah, the idea is like you know they're they're still and they're not tumbling. Um, and they're getting away from their spacecraft, what they'd do is they'd, you know, take out one of the big weights, and then they would throw it, and then it would push them towards the spacecraft. Yeah. That, that was the idea. Mm -hmm. kind it's of so idea. interesting it's cool. how they do so much research for movies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why would they do that, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like unreal. Like with, the amount, of plot line, you with know? the amount of research they did, they could have just actually gone to the moon. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no. I don't know. Movies, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. What to... would you guys go I was just trying to say the moon landing was fake. It didn't hit. It's oh, fine. Oh, I see. It's would you, fine. Would you go I to the moon? Understand. Would you ever go? Wherever. If it was this? easy. Well, it wouldn't be easy, but would you go? Well, if they made like a like some crazy rocket that could get me there in like a week no yeah. it's a three-day journey it's a wait it's only a three-day journey it's, to the moon it's like th yeah it's like three day round trip or something oh yeah i'd go to the moon yeah Just have a little have a little picnic would you ever go to mars uh mm. if i had a reason to like, what like re no one would ever have a reason to. uh what if we're moving yeah what if i'm moving yeah. homes yeah they have sick deals homes. on teslas over yeah there. the real estate's really expensive here yeah, it's ridiculous, actually. Do you reckon, it's gonna, do you reckon real estate in, on Mars is going to be expensive? Do you reckon you have to buy it? Or do you reckon you just get there and they're like, okay, you live here? Who yeah, that's exactly... They'll literally partition shit out who for, owns it? for you, yeah. So the first people who on Mars are just going to have shitloads of property? Yeah, they're going to have a whole planet worth of property. Oh, dude, we should move to Mars. Who we owns be Mars? so rich. Nobody owns Mars. So you're saying that there's a lot of free real estate there. Time? I think Matt Damon owns it. Is that just the reference to the movie The Martian? The Martian? Stereo yeah. Matt Damon? <laughs> okay. He claimed okay, it. Okay, it's over. <laughs> Wait, does, does, does America own the moon? No. But no. they put they a flag should. on it. They, they should. So no one owns it, which means it's up for grabs. No. Ooh. What? Mm -mm. What? So if you. Like, okay, dude. They signed treaties about this. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So what's the it's treaty? It's like say? nobody, no actual Earth country um, or business can. Well, maybe not for business anymore, but it was, it was... Wait, no, I could buy the moon as a business? No, well, it's like, you, there's, I think in the treaty, it's like there's settlers' rights. So, like, if you expend your resources to, like, create a, a base on Mars or on the moon, like, you know, if it's on the moon, I feel like, you know, it would have to be an international thing. It would be like an international space station, yeah. except on the moon. It would be a, you know... International like, moon station. Yeah, to that degree. But for Mars, like, if Elon makes, you know, a, a whole fucking colony on Mars, like... He like he pretty much owns it. Nobody owns nobody owns Dude. it. Like you know, it would have to be its own independent state, its own independent um, colony, okay. um, because Earth can't do shit about it either way. Okay, um, and that's just the way that it is. So we should move to another planet because yeah. then it'll be ours. We should really get cracking yeah. on that. So I mean, instead, we shouldn't get the ranch anymore. Yeah, we we'll get the space we should, ranch. We should get a a planet. Haven't you heard of the thing where NASA landed a rover on the moon, or it was Mars, um, and some dude uh, <laughs> made a bunch of legitimate like paperwork and then marked um, like the spot that it landed as uh, parking space 27 uh, and then sent them a parking ticket for, oh, that's <laughs> for, so funny. for parking on his land. And then they, <laughs> they denied it because of treaties saying that nobody can actually own a stake unless they have, you know, the, the, the power to enforce their Yeah, but know, he parks there first. Territory. That's his parking spot. That's mm. how it works. Mm. No stake. Yeah, th that. that's the biggest problem about space. <laughs> no stake. It smells like stake. 
Really? Sausage. Yeah, burnt steak, right? Burnt steak. Oh, yeah. Does that mean you're having a stroke or something? <laughs> no, that's <laughs> no, burnt toast. Oh. Oh. No, the, 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 that smell apparently comes from either metals leaching out of the space station or just There's like the rocketry. Um, <laughs> or, <laughs> Sorry. or it's just like the, the, the actual moon uh, regolith. Like what, has what is that smell. word? What? Regolith. regolith. Sounds like a Viking. It's like it's like the the moon soil. Uh, 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 regular. Why don't they just call it moon soil? Well, it's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Oh yeah, compared to regolith. Actually, regolith. Uh, regolith. All right. Well, let's go. Then. Let's go to the moon. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's how much? It. How much money do we need to go fund Say me? Say it's hundred k. What? We could get to the moon to, for hundred k. Yeah, Why aren't people just going to the moon? No, in like 40 fucking years. When okay. it's oh. like, I mean right now. <laughs> you cannot go to the moon right now. Why surely, not? Surely sooner. Surely in the next five to ten you'll be able to buy a trip to the moon, no? Nah. No, I think, you don't think they auctioned they have off a colony, man. Yeah, it's where they auctioned off yeah. some shit. I thought it was 200k. Yeah, it's, it's to go, it, it has to go around. It's yeah, not to land. Was that, that virgin? Any. It's 150 million a seat. Oh, Ooh. a little bit. Off. We'll just buy crypto, and then Who's by the time it's there, Who's you'll be good. Was it Virgin? Uh, it says Circum Lunar Flyby. Yeah, with mm. who? Uh, the Earth is circumcised. That's all it's telling me. They have like okay. Spirit Airlines of that, where it's like budget. <laughs> no yeah, luggage. Dude, you, get, you get on a fucking jet store to the moon. Yeah. yeah. I mean, how much? You don't think SpaceX could go to the moon right now? They could. They could. Yeah. So. So theoretically, then you could go to the moon. Well, yeah, but yeah, I'm just I don't saying, know if you know this, but there's not a lot need? going on up there at this time. Yeah, I just want to visit. Right, I just want to pop and check in. Yeah, yeah. Be like, well, look at the views, nice. Oh, this is cool. All right, let's head home. Furnishings are very and, like the clout you'd have posting there. You know, surely I'd make up for it. Yeah. Yep. Well, guys. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. <laughs> that's the moon. <laughs> yeah. Fucking, well, that, 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 that's that. okay. I <laughs> mean, I think ending it in the moon is the best thing to do. What, the podcast? Our lives and the <laughs> oh, podcast. Yeah. Ending it in mm. the moon. I think yeah. if you retire, you just fly to the moon, spend all your money on one ticket, and then Fuck just... Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Hey, tune in in 20 years to see the Misfits podcast in space. And Whoa. then on the moon. And Whoa. then, uh-oh. It's depressurized. Three of us have died. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like it becomes the journal of a of one of us yeah. just <laughs> desperately yeah. trying to contact Earth. <laughs> Hello Day and welcome 26. back to Mrs. Podcast. I have been on this planet for <laughs> three hundred days now. All of my co hosts are dead. Please I bring had me to back. Eat them. Rate this five stars if you can hear me. <laughs> All right, guys, that's the end of the show. Yeah. How are we feeling? Yeah. Tired. Well, thanks, Swagger. Yeah. You really brought the mood down. Yeah, come on, man. I thought you were a Fun space Wait, guy. hold on, you're right. Yeah, chuck that gamer sub, start GG code misfits. Chug it down. Mm. Get energized. Mm. Oh, he really oh. had a decent amount there. Through the mask as well. Very good. Now I have energy. The mango That's meta how is it works. so good. So good. You know what else is so good? Uh, yeah. Bye, guys. See you next week. <laughs> bye. Find out, find out next week. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>